What we want to look at now are the use of colored lenses. Now, this is one of the stranger parts of current neuroscience, but what we are learning is that different wavelengths of light impact neuronal tissues or brain tissues differently. In the real world, what that means is that certain shades of glasses or colored lenses can impact on movement. They can also impact on pain. Um, there's a current study going on at Oxford University looking at the use of green light to reduce migraine headaches. So although this may seem a little bit strange, there is actually a lot of science around this that's starting to accumulate. On top of that, experientially, what we want to demonstrate for you is the impact, again, of different wavelengths of light on different people. So right now, Mike is wearing a clear lens, and we're going to do a couple of range of motion tests. So go ahead and look at your, test your shoulder for us. So we get an idea of her current range of motion. Um, and what we're going to do now is begin cycling through different colors. This is a cool set of lenses because they magnetically attach. So we're going to attach right now. This is just basically a dark lens. And we'll get an idea. Do we see some change in her range of motion? Yeah. So we've already seen this previously with her darkening the, the room because of some light sensitivity has something of a positive impact. If we pull those off, we're now going to go to a red lens or pink lens, and she'll retest. All right, again, about the same, no huge change there. Pull those off. Now we're gonna go to a darker blue. And this one, we actually see that she's getting a little bit better range of motion. Does that feel different to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's the most important thing. I'm gonna actually switch to something that typically does not do well for her, which are amber lenses. Ambers are very popular in current sunglasses because amber increases contrast. For some people who have vision issues, you give them more contrast and they feel worse. That's a very typical reaction that we see. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and let you relax. Um, this is again one of the things that you want to make sure that you're test, testing with people and this is a really cool lens set that allows you to quickly adjust uh, and see if there is some impact for your particular athlete in terms of motor control or motor activity based off colors. If they respond well to it, you may have them wear colored lenses during training, uh, even as a part of some games. Um, also, for some of your athletes, it's very important to identify colors that they're currently wearing because they're stylish, but are actually making them move terribly. So colored lenses, very, very powerful tool uh, from the neurocentric training perspective.